Hello and welcome to Brainy Gardener. Today it is all about how to grow and care for the Flaming Sword Bromeliad. Flaming Sword Bromeliad is a common name for the Viresia splendens in the Bromelia family. This plant is native to Trinidad, eastern Venezuela, and the Guianas and is often found in offices and gardens worldwide. It is easily identifiable by its thin, long red and orange flowers that grow from tightly formed rosettes of leaves. As an epiphyte, this bromeliad will attach itself to trees to get closer to direct sunlight. This plant is cultivated worldwide for its striking appearance and low water requirements. They add a burst of color to any arrangement they're a part of, making them a popular choice for indoor spaces. It is a beautiful specimen and can flower every summer if adequately cared for. The plant produces rosettes that branch off from each other at varying intervals. These rosettes have bright yellow flowers surrounded by red bracts. Flaming sword bromeliads do not require much light. They can live fairly happily in an east or west window, but they will grow faster and flower more profusely if they receive a few hours of direct sunlight a day. Although these bromeliads do not need much light, the color of the leaves can change depending on how much light the plant receives. If the plant is receiving too much sunlight, it will usually display lighter leaves with purple veins. If the plant is not receiving enough sunlight, then it will display darker green leaves without as many or any purple veins. These bromeliads do not need much water, but they should never be allowed to completely dry out. Make sure you only water these plants when the top inch of soil feels dry to the touch. It is important that the soil dries out pretty well between waterings, but is not bone dry. This bromeliad needs to be watered in a way that the central cup is filled when water. Flaming sword bromeliads do well in average household temperatures. The ideal temperature range is between 6 to 5 and 78 degrees Fahrenheit. They cannot tolerate very hot or cold temperatures. Although this plant does not require high humidity levels, it will be healthier and happier with higher humidity. Make sure you do not let the cup in the center of the leaves go bone dry, because it needs to stay humid inside or else your bromeliad could get sick. Misting once or twice a week will help increase humidity levels. But be careful not to overwater this plant. Flaming sword bromeliads are not heavy feeders, but they can appreciate occasional feeding in summer. An all-purpose liquid plant fertilizer diluted to half strength will do fine for this bromeliad. Spray the solution directly onto the cup in the center of the plant on the leaves and a small amount into the soil. Flaming sword bromeliads can be propagated by offsets and seeds. It's a tropical plant that requires bright light and moist conditions to propagate. You can propagate the plant by planting an offset after it is sufficiently grown about one-third the size of the parent plant. Remove offset from the mother plant and plant it in moist soil. Take appropriate care and wait for the planted offset to grow. It should begin to show roots in a few weeks. You can also choose to propagate this plant by seeds, but this process takes a very long time, just like other bromeliads. Therefore, most gardeners prefer to stick to the offset method, as it's quick hassle-free and produces better results. Flaming sword bromeliads should be repotted only in spring or summer. Note that this plant should not be repotted more than once a year as frequent disturbance will damage the plant. These bromeliads can be planted in a wide variety of potting conditions, including small plastic pots, clay pots, hanging baskets, standard decorative containers, and even driftwood. They are usually grown either mounted on bark or potted in regular potting soil with adequate drainage. Make sure that this plant stays in a small enough container so that the roots will not clog up the drainage holes. You may need to water more frequently at first while the roots are adjusting to their new home. Flaming sword bromeliads are non-toxic to people and pets. The most common pests found on these plants are scale insects. These pests feed on the plant sap, which can cause damage and lead to reduced growth and flowering. Get rid of them by coating a cotton swab with rubbing alcohol and cleaning the leaves gently.